as we get comfortably seated with spine upright, shoulders braced back, back of the head in line with the spine and eyes gently closed. Let us try to slowly withdraw our mind to take awareness on the chest and what lies within. Ideally speaking, the anatomy and physiology say it is the lungs, the rib cage, and the heart. For now, we are going to look at the sky within the Akash around the Hridai, that is the heart. We take a conscious inhalation, expanding our lungs and our rib cage to a point where our intercostal muscles come out of the rib cage. We inhale fully in with oxygenated air. We hold the inhalation in what is called Antar Kumbhak. And we exhale slowly and gently. Emptying the lungs. And hold the emptiness in what is called Bahir Kumbhak. Continue expanding the lungs. Visualizing the heart and the space around it. Hridayakash. Dharana. The sixth step of Ashtang Yoga, Dharana, to focus, to concentrate. One which is after Pratyahar, sense withdrawal. Intensified awareness on Hriday, that is heart. Akash, that is the space around it. Dharana, that is sense withdrawal and hence concentration. And as we do this Hridaya Akash Dharana, we hold our inhalations and our exhalations in Antar Kumbhak and Bahir Kumbhak. We do Antar Kumbhaks and Bahir Kumbhaks for their innumerable benefits. The oxygenated air that we have inhaled needs time to process and to give its worth in our systems and our organs. The deoxygenated air which we are exhaling out needs that emptiness within our systems and organs to make space for new oxygenated air. So our inhalations are full, our lungs are full. We are using the final, the third lobe of the rib cage. We are letting inhaled air process our systems and organs especially our lungs. And we, as we exhaled out deoxygenated air, as we have learned in science as students of biology, that we give out CO2 and we take in O2.
all this with the mind's eye in the lungs. Hridaya Akash Dharana. Very meditative, very focused, very resonated, timed. And yet each one of us doing within our own capacity. Whichever city, village, state, country we live in, polluted or unpolluted, we need to develop the immunity to be able to handle that pollution or freshness. That oxygenated or deoxygenated pollution. whether we have fibrosis of the lungs or asthma, bronchitis or prone to constant coughs and colds, congestions in the lungs. We can't run away from the home that we have chosen and need to be in. We only need to develop our immunity in such a way that whether it is repairs or malamine polish or coastal roads being done or dust or pollen, we build up immunity to a point, to a level where nothing affects us, nothing spoils our health. Last round. Taper the awareness to the Hridaya, the heart now. Saying goodbye to the Akash, the space around it. And place your palm exactly where you feel your Hridaya is. One palm and the other palm on the knuckles of the first. And watch your chest lift with every inhalation, drop with every exhalation. As you inhale and exhale in Pastrika. The shoulders not only lift and drop with inhalations and exhalations, the entire rib cage expands and again narrows down. If you're prone to cough, scores, sinuses, etc., you will find some amount of mucus coming out. Nasal mucus. Keep a tissue or a napkin next to you. Let's continue the practice. Inhale fully. Keep your hands there at the heart. Watch the lungs expanding. And see an Om chant exhaling. Om. Now inhale in two parts. Khanda Pranayam Inhalation. 
Hold the inhalation. Lungs are full. Processed oxygenated air is ready to be out as deoxygenated air in an OM chant. The length and the extension of the Om chant is not a competition. You need to do it at your comfort level. Now inhale in what is called Ujjayi, the throat breath, rubbing inhaled air in your throat pit. Make it sound full. Hold the inhalation in Antar Kumbhak. The palms on the heart are sensing the expansion in the lungs. Hold the inhalation in Antar Kumbhak. Om chant exhaling. Oh. Inhale to a count of eight in this next variation. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold to a count of four. One, two, three, four. Om chant exhaling. Om. Start experiencing the clarity in your throat, your larynx. The throat pit as mucus melts away, beautifying the voice. Inhale in the cooling pranayam shitali now, folding your tongue like a taco, bringing it in. Feel the lift on the palms on your heart as lungs fill in. Tongue in. Stay in Antar Kumbhak. The oxygenated air that we inhaled in Sheetali has gifted us by cooling our gut. We do an Om chant exhaling. Oh. Hold the exhalation to a count of four. To do a Shitkari inhalation. Clenching your teeth, unpursing your lips, and inhaling fully from the teeth. Hold inhaled air in your rib cage. Lungs are expanded. The palms feel lifted. Om chant exhaling. Om. Now take the palms off from the chest, from the ridai, from the heart. To start with Kapal Bhati. Kapal, as the name suggests, is the forehead. Bhati is the illumination there. There is a pun intended. Light means to feel the lightness and to feel the illumination. 
Kapal Bhati involves active exhalations pulling the abdomen in. Discontinue the practice. Watch your breath. Kapalbhati is Kapalbhati is known to reverse acidity, gas, flatulence, indigestion, constipation, obesity in the abdomen. It is said to give us longevity because it eventually slows down our breath and hence gives us more breaths in a lifetime. And hence increases our ayushya. Kapalbhati needs to be done at a pace we can handle. Each one of us has a different pace and can keep changing that pace. Kapalbhati is not a pranayam, it's a cleanser, a shodhan kriya. Anytime you feel low, victimized, under the weather, weak, tired, exhausted, give yourself a whole round of Kapal Bhati and then notice how you feel. In Kapal Bhati, the body is steady. Only the abdomen moves in with every exhalation. Discontinue Kapal Bhati and come in Gomukhasan. Gomukhasan is where the knees look like the muk of a cow. So you have to have one knee on top of the other. Sciatica, those who have sciatica will not do the knee on top, the leg on top. So suppose you have sciatica in the right leg, you will not keep your right leg in front on top. If you have sciatica in the left leg, you will not put your left leg on top. So keeping one knee on top of the other and the other elbow pointing the ceiling. I repeat, keeping one knee on top of the other and the alternate elbow pointing the ceiling. Interlace the fingers behind you to do Kapalabhati twists. Showing you the back view. If you're unable to grip your fingers behind, you're not flexible enough and you need to be more into practice of asanas. 
no asan no pranayams can make up for asan no mudras can make up for asans and pranayams no bandhas can make up for asans pranayams and mudras a vitamin b12 um product item food juice fruit will not give you a vitamin d c d4 what is it b12 and d3 right yeah d3 the sunlight you need sunlight and you need your milk so don't think that just because you are breath doing your breath work daily and your mudras and your buns your body is going to be flexible if your fingers are not in a grip it's giving you signals that you are not in flexibility in regular practice of asanas and you need to do regular practice in asanas discontinue the practice to get the other knee on top now alternate elbow grip the fingers behind and go into twists and here's how it looks from behind the grip of the fingers feel a good stretch in your forearms the bicep and tricep area this continue the practice come into a padmasan the lotus pose interlace hands at the nape of the neck elbows out like wings to do the bellows breath bhastrika the vitalizing pranayam the energizing one in what is called triyaka padmasan you go down sideways laterally every time you go towards the gravitational pull you exhale when you come back you inhale bhastrika in triyaka padmasan alternate one on each side stretch the sides at the intercostal muscles again at the rib cage to get a well sculpted body and a supple spine empty your lungs of deoxygenated air as you go down towards the gravitational pull and inhale as you come up filling them with oxygenated air and now diagonal from lateral elbow to knee diagonal exhale first alternate
Please continue the practice. Open the interlaced fingers. Place your palms on your knees. Let's do Agnisa. Inhale fully and create a digestive fire in the abdomen. Pull the abdomen in, exhaling. Come into an abdominal lock. Holding the exhalation, do abdomen out, in, out, in, out, in. Discontinue the practice. Repeat this. Inhale fully. Inflate the abdomen like a balloon. Exhale completely. Get the navel towards the tailbone. So you've come into an abdominal lock. After that, along with that, you come into a chin lock. So we've practiced Udyan Band and Jalandar Band. And do Agni Sar again. Release, discontinue the practice. And a third round now, the last one of Agnisar. Always do Agnisar under supervision. Come into Mahaband. Inhale fully. Inflate the abdomen like a balloon, pushing your pelvic platform down on your yoga mat. Exhale completely. Come into Mahaband. Abdomen in. Neck in a chin lock. And a mole bun, the area between the anus and the perineum. Even more intense, area between the anus and the urethra. Holding the exhalation, do abdomen out in, out in, out in, out in. without breathing. Discontinue Agni Sar. Open up the three locks, the Mool Band, the Udyan Band, the Jalandar Band. Continuing to keep eyes closed, Awareness on the whole body. Paper the awareness to the heart now and the akash around it. Hridaya akash, dharana. Palm on the heart, other palm on the knuckles of the first. Inhale fully, expand the lungs. Let the akash come out of the intercoastal muscles around the hridaya. Hold the inhalation in Antar Kumbhak for oxygenated air to be processing. Oxygenating every bone, pore, its densities, the muscles, the tendons, the nerves, the ligaments, the cells. From the core, that is the skeletal system, to the fascia, that is the skin. 
Exhale completely, emptying the Akash. Empty well so that we can make room for new oxygenated air to pump us again. Hold the exhalation. And inhale again. Hold the inhalation. Stare at the Hridaya Akash. Concentrate, focus, Hridaya Akash Dharana in Antar Kumbhak. Exhale. Hold the exhalation. Hold for as long as you can without finding an impending need to inhale. Before that, start inhaling again for the third time, the last round. On finishing the third, that is the last exhalation, bring the hands down. Prepare to end your session by doing a good round of palming, rubbing the palms, allowing the friction in the hathelis to produce our urja, our prana, and then cap them on closed eyes on the face, the cheeks, the jaws, the ears, the neck. Back on the eyes, opening and closing your eyes in the darkness of the pranic energy. With a gentle feather touch on the face and the neck. One which is filled with abundance. Slowly open your eyes and rise ready for the day. Thank you, Hari Om Tatsar.